Hey, good morning. This is Jim from Jim's Holy as the Coleus. And a great morning it is. Uh, one thing that Coleus is really love is morning sun. Uh, if you if you buy a Coleus at the store and so forth, it almost always says uh, to pro make sure it gets some sun, particularly morning sun. Or do you, where are you going to plant? If you're going to plant your Coleus, you buy a pot of Coleus. Where do you want to put it? And it says try to put it in a well-drained area. Well-drained, that's like a given, but put it in an area that gets good morning sun. And there's nothing like morning sun. So I'm going to do a quick video on how I go about making these big, huge planters. Now, I have these big concrete planters I purchased years ago. And every year I design, um, I throw in four, three, four, coleus, four, usually five sometimes, coleus around the perimeter and knowing that in by July I have a big full coleus and that just keeps going and keeps giving back so this is basically how you can do it and you can do this they don't have to be big concrete planters like this although this is great because this really provides great uh, well draining uh, it's a well draining um, pot it's a tall pot so you don't ever have to really worry about root rot so these stay out during thunderstorms, so forth. I don't move them uh, by Ju by July. These are pretty well anchored in. Um, so by July, June, July, August, over the summer, this is staying, and uh, they're they're pretty well um, anchored in. So now uh, the difference between these two pots here on my deck is this one here is next to a Rosa Sharon. <clears throat> so this one gets a, a, a more shade, but it gets, I, I get really great um, results over here. It's just perfect because the sun, get, it, it does get some of this morning sun through the, the plant and uh, through the Rosa Sharon tree, but then in the afternoon it gets afternoon sun, but this still provides a little bit of uh of shade so um, placing your coleus in an area like such as this is ideal and as you can see I mean it's just it's early June and this thing has exploded and I have to do some trimming to get it uh, evened out and I have some younger coleuses that have to catch up so I make sure I trim a lot down here to keep that Get, give that fella a chance to show herself. And I got some jitters coming in. And these are just wonderful. There's a finger paint sticking in there. And these will all fill out. I'll keep this trimmed down. Give these a chance to catch up. And this is going to be, it already is, but it's going to be a magnificent coleus. So this is how you do it. Now you have these, if you have large planters like this, they don't have to be concrete. Um, I'm going to show you next uh, some smaller, cheaper plastic pots that I've had over the years. And it's the same concept. Uh, I think that two videos ago I posted um, on this. And if you look back at that and then you look at it now, inside of just a couple of weeks, you see the, the large, I mean, the, the really, the, the growth is unbelievable. And these have to be trimmed still. See all that new growth coming in? So that has to be trimmed. This is what you trim. These here, see how they're kind of sticking out into these other plants? Don't be afraid to do it. It's not going to hurt. So I'm going to get rid of this, this, and these two for now. And it, and it it's like, oh my God, but that's, that's the plant. But it's going to get these other leaves to come in. And then eventually your whole plant is going to be, you're going to have branches of coleus like this so it's not going to be just this little one plant you're going to have there's all branches coming in so you're going to have branches and branches of 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 this so don't be afraid to trim it so get rid of this one two three and four let's cut those that's what i'm going to do next and we'll get those to come in and it gives this plant the same thing i'm going to trim here and it gives all that undergrowth a chance to come in same with that and that's how you make these huge this is a, a a pot i guess i got it at lowe's five six years ago 
and it serves a perfect uh, a perfect you know for this uh, for making these huge pots of coleus and again I use good quality miracle Grow soil um, and I fertilize it's important to fertilize once these things get going like this I have the fertilizer pellets in there um, but once a month fertilize whether it's the miracle Grow plant general plant mix uh, the powder mix you mix in water but just give it fertilizer once a month once they stop growing like this get that fertilizer in there once they're and then once they're established and they start getting bigger and you're trimming them give it that a fertilizer it'll do wonders so there's another little one over here this one's a little slower because the coleuses were smaller but again this one I'm excited about that it's a beautiful color I did trim that one already and it's just time. I mean, they, you know, they, they get these because they're small and they're outside. I don't move these. They get a little beat up initially, but they're they're doing fine. And they're gonna in another week or so, they're gonna be even more mature, and they'll be able to withstand a little more of the weather. So, and finally over here, this was a cutting. Uh, this is really just a rooting from last year from the mother plant. And um, let me turn it around. Again, this is just a cheap plastic planter. And it's a pretty magnificent looking Viant's coleus. Lots of new growth coming in. I just trimmed some of the tops. You gotta keep doing that. And uh, moving it around, we should see all that new growth coming in. Because this side is a little lopsided, this is the no nature of the way the uh, the coleus was. I, I believe the, a branch broke off of it, so I uh, got that growth coming in. But I'm going to trim the tops. But you see all that new growth coming in. She's fertilized well. She's drained well. She stays out. Thunderstorms, heavy rain, she's fine. You can see that's an older coleus. You can see that that bark. That's when what happens when they get older. It's almost like a tree. And this is a real healthy plant and another my god it's already exploding so and it's another important thing really quick and i'll just use this as an example uh now this one obviously again just as i said i'm purposely keeping this out towards the sun because i want i want these this new growth to fill in but once this is starting to fill in every couple of days once a week whenever i get around to it i rotate all of my pots around and it's just it's good it's a number of things it's good it gives the it, it, it makes the plant grow evenly because they, they they swing towards the light towards the sun they follow towards the sun and as a as a you know landscape you walk by and it, you get a chance to look at the you see a different aspect of the plant so and you can see here you got some damaged leaves and some holes these they get beat up now but I got all that growth coming in so I've got some trimming to do later. All right, so if you have any pots, uh, larger pots, if, um, you don't have to have five or six. If you have four or five coleus plants that you really like, um, just do, put the four, three or four around the perimeter. Make sure you've got some good soil. Um, give her some, I mean, I don't necessarily water these myself because of the rain that we're beginning, but I do have a pot. And here's my my cat Maximus, who's uh, who's out hunting in the yard. He's about ready to come in. So, but again, same thing here. I rotate I rotate this around. There's a lot of new little growth here. This is these are all rootings, and a couple of regular plants that I grew from seed. And this looked really sorry. This this plant I was almost going to throw out, but I, I knew it was going to come back, and it's coming back. A lot of new growth. I trimmed it, cut the tops. Same with that there. You can see that's that's starting to come in. This is going to be a huge, full, healthy plant with a nice combination of of a, a nice um, vari you know variation of different coleus colors, and it's just an exciting every angle you look at and that's what's exciting about rotating them around you know, different you have different colors and different textures and you know you don't have to 
necessarily think about, oh, how do I or, but I, I have had, you know, I just make sure I got a nice assortment of color here. And here's another nice little planter I got here. It's not quite as deep, it's all drained. These are all drained pots. And this is gonna be a nice full plant. So I have these out. There's a couple of uh, new coleus I ordered for myself that I'm just putting out for, for the morning. And I give them a nice shot of morning sun. So, so you could do this. Make yourself a nice full coleus arrangement. Don't forget to fertilize again once a month. Just straight uh, general purpose miracle grow in the in the green box or the pellets, the time release fertilizer pellets or so. Uh, or regular miracle grow pellets once a month once it starts growing like this now it's the growing season so give them the uh, fertilizer so all right thanks for following everybody uh, it's a beautiful day got some work to do in the greenhouse among other things daily living chores to do at home so i got a full day ahead of me so thanks for watching everybody i appreciate it and we look forward to our next video have a good day. Have a great week, everybody.